Good afternoon. It is July 10th, 2020. I hope everybody is doing well out there. Um, everybody's safe with all that's going on in this crazy world that we're living in. Today I'm going to talk about growing spiritually. Uh, but grow in the grace of knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. 2 Peter 3.18 As newborn babies desire pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, and if in, indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. 1 Peter 2, 2 and 3. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Peter 2.15 Meditate on these things. Give yourself eternally to them that your progress may be evident to all. 1 Timothy 4.15 Therefore, leaving the decision of elementary principles of Christ let us go in perfection, Hebrews 6.1. But also for all the, this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your virtue, to the virtue, knowledge, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither bar barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Second Peter 1, 5-8. For this reason, I bow my, my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory and to be strengthened with might through his spirit in this inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width of length and depth of, and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as a mirror the glory of the Lord, and being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3.18 The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Psalm 92.12 I know it's hard to be spiritually in this these days these times that we're living in but this is the time that we really need to be strong in the Lord and we in fellowship and whatever worship we can do to stay strong 
the evil ones are here. So we gotta put on the whole armor of God daily to stay strong. Remember your battle plan. Pray, fight, and trust. Pray without ceasing. Put on the whole armor of God and trust, having done all, and stand. I have some uh, same, same uh, prayer requests for everybody here that I've been talking on. Uh, I just added a couple extra ones. So let's pray for all those that need healing, that for those that need strength, and it, it, just in the faith in life, whatever that needs to be done, let's pray for everybody today, the world. Let's pray for all those that need it, okay? Thank you. Let's pray for our military. They're out there on the lines today. Um, so pray for them to stay safe, pray for their families. Also pray for our law enforcement. Um, they're calling for defunding the police, which is ridiculous. And who are you going to call if you need help? Well, the Lord tells us we, are ha we have the right to defend ourselves and protect ourselves. So don't forget that if they take away the police. We can take care of ourselves by the Lord's word in the law of the Lord. So let's pray for the police officers that are out there, uh, firefighters, EMTs. Let's pray for the doctors and nurses that are still uh, in the hospitals with, you know, daily, whatever they're battling today. Um, keep them in prayer, keep them safe and strong and healing the people. Uh, pray for the defenders, protectors, and templars that are out there. We're growing in strength. Pastors, ministers, chaplains, anybody that teaches the word of God. Um, some churches are opening up, but remember, the church is not just the building. It's us as a family. We make the church. We can stay strong with our family of the church ourselves just because we don't have a building to be in or we're not allowed to be in. Um, we're still a church as a family, so stay, stay with your families and, and stay with the word. Uh, pray for the Bridge Church and the Bridge family. Pray for Pastor Jacob, keep him strong in the word and keep his word strong. Keep Satan from tackling him on a daily basis. Uh, pray for our nation, our government. Pray for the world and their world government that they find revival, that they find the word. Satan is working hard, destroying us. We gotta stay strong. We're living in, in last times. We don't know when our day is gonna come. So we gotta stay strong in the Lord. Uh, so pray for the world and the government for peace and healing and revival. Pray for my family, we stay strong. My ministry that I grow, keep growing in whatever direction the Lord wants me to, to go. Those who leave everything in the, in the Lord's hand will eventually see the Lord's hand in everything they do. There is victory in Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Remember, it's not over. Until God says it's over. Keep fighting until your victory is won. Stay strong. Keep on the armor of God. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the bottom in the comments and we'll put them out there. Um, and if not, if you just have any nice words to say, uh, fortunately, YouTube has been. Um, protecting themselves and taking Christian channels down. So sometimes I'm not here, sometimes they'll delete me. I don't know what's going on. Also in some of the comments that I've been getting has been unwanted comments. When you hit on it, it turns up pornography. So please don't do that. You know, and I, I apologize. I pray for that person that's doing that, that he finds the Lord 
Satan works in different ways. The devil loves uh, crucifying us. So stay strong. God bless until we meet again.